Welcome to the next stage of the build and in this part of the build uh, what I have to deal with is with the deck uh, furniture. There are six pieces that have to be made up to add on to the ship and there are these six pieces right here. The main one is the entrance hatch and that one is right here. Um, the instructions are pretty detailed on how to build it. Uh, all these were pre-cut uh, pieces and uh, to finish it off uh, it will need some of the acetate uh, that the kit brings as uh, two separate uh, sheets and from here to cut out the, the windows. And uh, it also brings some photo etch to add to the uh, uh, structure as if there were railings and uh, things. So the first stage is to start off with this little piece um, and uh, put it together. The other ones, I separate them all into pieces. It will need uh, some of the two millimeter wide deck planking uh, to fill it in together and uh, finally it will have to be painted as if it were mahogany so I'll be using some uh, uh, paint or um, and something to make it that color so I'll start off with the biggest structure first and uh, start the building. So when I get some parts done, it's pretty simple. It's just to glue it all with uh, wood glue and uh, put the whole structure together and there should be no problem with that. Okay, the first part is now finished. I've done and built up the six structures of the deck furniture and I've assembled them. They are pretty fiddly because they're all pretty small, this being the main one and it uh, barely is the size of a finger. But they come out pretty okay. And now it's uh, the step of adding a little bit of color to them to make them look like a walnut and to do that I'm going to use some varnish and uh, add a couple of coats probably sanding between each coat to try and even out the color and that way I can also eliminate some of the marks from the burnt uh, wood that being so small I couldn't get rid of before and uh, once I've done that, then I can think about adding the windows and the uh, photo etch uh, parts. And this part, uh, I had to use a small part from the thick wood, uh, the pre-made pieces, and sanded it down. And this is where the instrument panel will go. Um, later on when I've painted everything. This piece uh, will have the four eyeballs to represent uh, windows and I've drilled in uh, holes. For the time being they're one millimeter and they should be a millimeter and a half for the pieces to fit in correctly. But I'll do that when I've painted the piece. The other two pieces are pretty simple. They only require the, the pre-made pieces and uh, in the middle a strip of the deck planking and uh, that pretty much, much makes them complete. So I'll go ahead and add some of the varnish and sand it and see if I need any more coats and uh, then progress with the next couple of steps. Okay, I finished the first part of the deck uh, housings and I've uh, given them three coats of this uh, varnish, walnut varnish, 
sanding with 800 grit uh, paper uh, between each uh, layer and this is the result now that they're all glued with all this um, I also went ahead and on the main part I added a couple of strips of the deck planting uh, to fill in this hole and down at the bottom I used uh, part of the same second planking of the outer hull and the middle part to simulate the continuation. I haven't varnished those parts yet, I will later on, uh, so there's no difference between the deck and this part. And finally in one of the parts uh, that will need uh, some holes, two millimeters holes to accept some uh, um, windows that will go in there later on and I went ahead and made them as well. And the only part which is kind of different is this one that the front had to uh, take a piece from the original thick uh, um, pre-made uh, pieces and sand it down to the shape and uh, glued it on. Uh, this will take the instrument panel which will be the last part that I will add. So the next stage is to add the windows and the uh, bars that go over the, the windows. The windows, what I've done first of all is to create some templates for each one of the parts and then I will use the provided acetate and cut them out and glue them in from the inside, uh, probably using uh, wood glue since they will not require a lot of strength to stay in and there should be no, no problem. Once that I, I do that, I'll add the, the, um, the outside parts and uh, just cutting them from the photo edge and gluing them on probably with uh, super glue and that should uh, finish these uh, six sections that will go along the middle of the deck. Once I've done that, I'll come back and do the last stage which is to finish off the stand and that should uh, finish this whole part. So I'll carry on uh, using the templates, cutting out the windows and uh, gluing them from inside and uh, then that should uh, finish this stage. Okay, now I'm done with all the deck furniture, all the six pieces, um, including having added the uh, acetate windows and the photo edge uh, railings on top. The way that I did the windows was to use uh, one of the pieces of acetate that came with the kit. There are two large pieces, uh, plenty to do all of it. And using the templates that I had, I cut out the windows and then from the inside I stuck them down using uh, wood glue since uh, not much pressure is going to be applied on them and that way they didn't fog up if I ha as if I had used uh, super glue. To attach the photo edge, I went ahead and cut them out from the frame using a blade and on a hard surface which is just a tile and that way I was able to cut them off pretty easily without bending them. Then to attach them what I did was to use uh, super glue and uh, just a little bit on the edges uh, to try and minimize the amount that I added. Uh, this still in some areas created a white uh, spot so what I've done in the end is to paint over the whole thing with some satin uh, varnish um, and this way to incorporate it. 
The last piece that I added was the control uh, cockpit part with all dials which is just a piece of paper that comes in instruction manual uh, at the back you'll need one of them and I made a photocopy cut it out and again with wood glue just uh, glued it on and uh, after varnishing over it it has uh, stayed uh, stuck so this pretty much finishes this uh, stage and uh, then um, I'll put these pieces aside same with the rudder and the main hull and work on the stand to uh, finish that off and that will finish this whole part I'll be back with the stand and to see how I make that part okay now on to the last part which is to make the, the stand this is done with the two pieces that were still left over from the 4mm pre-cut sheet they are the sides with the shape of an anchor to hold them on the, they are both held together with the piece that came of 5 by 5 millimeters and what I've done is cut out the two middle parts of the stand to put it together the instructions call that the outer edges of the of these pieces should be 97 centimeters apart so I've gone ahead and drawn a line and what I've done is to leave about uh, a centimeter on each end of this and uh, to make it look nicer what I've done is uh, sanded it into a rounded edge so that way it looks a little bit nicer with the rounded shapes of this other part what I will now do is to glue them down using wood glue and that way creating the, the stand on that way have the ship uh, be able to stand upright on its own to make sure they are squared I'll use a little square um, item to make them stand true and square on each one of the sides and let it dry and that should be the end of this part when I cut these parts off uh, I end up with a little spare piece of 5x5 five five wood which is about a centimeter and this might be useful although it's an extra so when I'm done gluing it uh, that will be the end of this stage and uh, we can see how it looks okay this stage is now finished I've done all the deck furniture plus the stand and this is the hull as it looks up to date um, everything is in the position where it should go uh, except the rudder which I haven't attached all the pieces uh, of the deck furniture uh, look pretty nice and this is uh, how they should look when they're all attached aside from that this is the stand uh, pretty easy to make I just uh, finished gluing it off after doing the rest and now it's all ready to paint all these pieces now which total to 573 pieces um, I'll leave aside and uh, start on with the next stage which is the mast this should uh, take care of uh, making the model much taller and uh, when that is done I'll go on with the boom and that should cover the whole next stage so hopefully you've enjoyed watching this uh, series until now and I'll catch you up uh, with the mast. Thank you for watching and see you soon.